representing real-world situations with inequalities. Let's meet Chelsea. Her friend asked her to play, and Chelsea responded, I have to finish my homework. I have fewer than 30 minutes of homework left. Will Chelsea be spending more or less than 30 minutes on her homework? Fewer than means less than, so Chelsea has less than 30 minutes of homework. Can you write an inequality to represent this situation? If T stands for the time Chelsea will spend doing homework, then T is less than 30 represents that the amount of time will be less than 30 minutes. Let's try one more example. For his homework, Devin has to read at least 20 pages in his book. Hmm, what does at least mean? In order to complete his homework, Devin must read at least 20 pages. Will his homework be complete if he reads 15 pages? No. What if he reads 20 pages? Will he have completed his homework? Yes. Can he read more than 20 pages? Yes. At least means greater than or equal to. So, the inequality that represents the number of pages P that Devon must read is P is greater than or equal to 20. Let's recap. When Jim could invite at most eight friends, the symbol we used was less than or equal to. Amanda baked more than 25 cookies. More than means greater than. Chelsea had fewer than 30 minutes of homework left to complete. The symbol we used to represent fewer than was the less than symbol. Finally, Devon had to read at least 20 pages for homework. At least meant greater than or equal to. Can you think of any other clue words that indicate a specific inequality symbol? Take a moment to review this table. In this lesson, you learned how to write an inequality to represent a real-world situation.